Hi everyone, my name is Leanne and I am joining your community collaboration group um, and I am day 10 on the Superlicious um, collaboration. So um, please sub to me if you like. I don't do that many videos and I can't say what I do is overly interesting but I love watching yours and I would love um, to be a part of the group and find some new friends. Anyway, um, because I'm in Australia and it is summer here, I have um, I sort of thought I was going to do pumpkin soup, but if I make that here, no one will eat it at the moment. So I'm going to swap it up. I hope that's okay. I hope it's not um, throwing anyone into chaos. But And I'm sort of cheating a little bit because I'm doing a meal that I grew up with, and uh, it's it's very it's very wintry and it's a bit it's not really a soup or a stew but it sort of is anyway it uses a whole heap of good ingredients it's very very good for you and um, very good for the kids um, Harrison my son loves it I'm yet to try Quinn with it because she's only one but I've never haven't cooked it since she was born so it's been a long time since I've cooked it um, but I did grow up with it and I love it so it's called Kai Si Ming um, some of you may have had it um, and I'll show you what the ingredients are. You're going to need a grater, a knife. Um, okay, so I've got some rice. It doesn't really matter what kind of rice you use. Um, I like basmati rice just because I like it. Um, some tomato sauce. I guess in America you guys call that ketchup. But I don't know whether you have tomato sauce over there. But anyway, tomato sauce. Um, usually you'd use black sauce or Worcestershire sauce, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to use steak sauce today. Um, to me they're similar so I'll just use that. Um, you need some curry powder. Um, you can use an onion or you can use some onion salt. I'm going to use onion salt today. Um, just some regular mints. I use a kilogram. Um, oh gee, I don't know how much that is in pounds. Anyway, sorry, I can't figure that out right now. But anyway, um, you need some water. Um, chicken stock is optional but I'm going to use it today. Um, and the vegetable part of this, you want anything green. So I've got some cabbage. Um, the main ingredient of this meal is cabbage. Um, cauliflower, broccoli, um, leek, which um, all of this is optional. You can put in what you like. But that's the beauty of this meal, that everything everything in this meal is, you can just do it however you like it. So, um, so yeah, some leek, um, beans, and some celery. Oh, and some zucchini. Zucchini. So I'm going to um, chop all this up and get ready to do it. So I'll speak to you when I come back. Okay, so ta da, everything is chopped up. Excuse that rubbish. So um, I've just diced up the celery, chopped up. Oh, I used about four sticks of celery. Um, I chopped up 400 grams of beans. Um, one leek. I grated a um, zucchini um, and I've used um, a quarter of a broccoli and a quarter of a cauliflower and I've chopped up half a cabbage but um, I do have another one there because cabbage reduces quite a lot when you're cooking it. Um, it loses a lot of its water um, so it is possible that I might need some more but um, We'll see. Well, when I'm cooking it, I'll see. Um, like I said before, the beauty of this recipe is that you can adjust it to suit your own liking. So um, it's just really healthy for you. So I have got um, a kilogram of mince here that I'm going to cook up now. Um, well, actually, what I'll do first is I'll put a spoonful of, um, like just a teaspoon of butter in the bottom of the, the saucepan. You need a large saucepan. Um, and I'll put the leeks in and just soften them up until they're um, translucent and then I will then um, put the mince in and cook the mince um, and then I guess I'll come back to you then and, and show you what I do from there. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so here's my leek, my mince um, cooked. Um, I also put a teaspoon of garlic in um, just because I like the flavour of garlic, so I put it in. Um, now it's just to add everything else, so I'll put the cabbage in, 
and I'll put everything in and then I'll um, let it sit simmer for a fair while just so everything goes soft because you know the beans will take a oh, I love beans they'll take a fair while to cook um, just so yeah you let it soften for a while um, I will also put in a cup of water um, with maybe um, I don't know um, a teaspoon in you don't need too much water when you first start cooking this you'll think oh my god I need more water um, because it's going to burn um, but the thing is the cabbage re releases a lot of water while it's um, while it's cooking so um, you'll end up having if you put too much water in it'll just be a sloppy mess so you don't want to put too much um, cabbage in because otherwise it will be too watery um, so I'll come back to you when I am ready to put everything else in. This is what it looks like now. I'm going to stir that a bit more and just let it simmer. Put the lid on, let it simmer for a while, stirring it occasionally. I'll probably let it simmer for an hour or so. Um, just stirring it every 10 minutes or so, just so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Because if it sticks to the bottom, you know, obviously that's not going to be very nice to clean up. So I will talk to you in an hour in an hour or so okay bye it's been uh, maybe a little less than an hour but I just wanted to show you how it's going because I had to come and stir it again so um, currently it looks like this so you can see that the cabbage has reduced down a heap um, and it's looking I mean, I, I don't know whether it's the most appetising looking meal, like it's not the most attractive meal, but it certainly has a lot of flavour and it's extremely good for you. Um, and um, I love it, but, you know, some people might not. I don't think um, my husband is too much of a fan of it, but um, I'll come back to you tonight when we have it for dinner and I'll show you what it looks like all finished. Okay everyone, now I am just going to show you the end result of the Kai Siming. So here it is. Uh, like I said before, it's probably not the world's most attractive meal, but it is yummy to eat. Now uh, I did put a little bit of salt in it. I think it needed a little bit of salt, but I think that's to taste. So however you like your stuff is how you do it. Now with the kids meals, I just, because it's cabbage, it's a little bit stringy. As in, you know, it might be a bit hard for them to swallow. Um, so I just blended it up in my little Tupperware blender container. Um, so that's what they're having for tea. Um, now this is chock full of veggies. It's really, really good for you. It's called Kai Si Ming. And I hope you enjoyed my vlog today and I hope that you get something out of it. Harrison, what do you think of your Kai Si Ming? Really good. What's your favourite bit? Broccoli. Because? It's my favourite vegetable. <laughs> Hello. Bye bye. Can I say? Quinn, what do you think? Do you like it? You want some? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. Good girl. Yum <coughs> yum. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I say bye bye. Bye bye, camera. Bye-bye. So that's my Superlicious vlog for today. So I'm really sorry that it wasn't um, soup or stew really, but I hope you can get something out of it and I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I really look forward to looking at your vlogs. Okay, nice to meet you all. Bye.